and again a massive welcome back from me and Gavin from Howdy. Gav Man Shore Rigs. I know it's been a little while since we've done our last video, probably a month and a half. Well, we did try and do one. We went to Recouver and uh, we did have a good video, but it wasn't any fish on camera, so I couldn't bring myself to post it. But we've done a nice big journey. Well, there's nothing nice about doing a big journey until you get here and take in the surroundings. Um, some of you probably will recognize where we are. Um, we're on the west coast of Wales um, and we're targeting taupe and bullhus and whatever comes in between. Now it might be a little bit too early for the taupe to be round this side. Um, I know they're having them on the southwest side uh, in quite good numbers. Um, but that mark along there, that stretch gets extremely busy. And uh, I don't really like cramped fishing conditions. I'd much rather be out in the outdoors where I can breathe freely. Um, so yeah, it's looking good. There's very, very little swell out there, which is ideal when you're on the rocks. There's nothing worse than fishing on a rock mark and you've got big swells. Because as you all know, one minute you've got water in front of you and the next minute you've got sort of three meters five meters drop of no water and it can come tumbling back in and and catch you off guard so when you're on the rocks you want it nice and flat calm so you can get down to the water's edge um, we are actually in an old quarry so i shall bring you back along the way we've got some steps to walk up and we've got about 15 minutes of walk to actually get to our mark um, I'll probably bring you back along the way just for a bit of scenery and then once we're set up I'll bring you back we'll run through what we're going to be fishing with um, in the sense of rigs, our gear, our setup and hopefully we'll be able to get some fish on camera for you so we will bring you back and see you guys in a, in a while Welcome back guys now if you're gonna do this mark you better be built like a mountain goat and not a pie eating billy goat. billy goat this is something else guys now like i said i did try this mark with reese and i got to about there and said not on your nilly nally not a chance wind there's a bit of wind, so you're gonna get a bit of wind noise. I do apologize. But uh, yeah, so this great big mound, we're gonna go around the other side and fish into the deepest part that we can get to. Uh, yeah, so when we get there safely, we'll bring you back. All right, so we're just about to make our way around to the front now. I thought I'd bring you on this bit of the journey with me. Now I'm hoping that's rainwater. I really hope it don't come up this far. Right, yes, yeah, so there's a few ledges here. Cast straight out. And then we can get down to the water's edge with a decent net if we need to. Yeah, yeah, good couple of ledges down there we can get on. Gonna have a look around this side. Yeah, that'll do. Happy with that. Tucked away from the wind to a degree. See how we get on. Right, we'll get ourselves set up and uh, we'll talk to you in a little while. Actually, no, I'm gonna go down a little bit further with you. Let's go down a bit further. Ooh. Woo. 
still makes you feel very small. It does indeed. Right, we'll get set up. Doodle pip. Okay. Right, so Gavin's down on the right hand side. First rod almost set up. My rod is set up, had a few practice casts. Uh, I'm going to bait up my first bait. And for that, we have got panel rigs. I don't know how much you can. So there's a panel rig, and we've got a wire bait trace. That's probably mm, a foot long, maybe. What's the poundage on this bait trace? 100 pound wire. Yep. So 100 pound wire. And then we've got, what's this, two circle hooks. Yeah, two 8 circles. Two 8 circles on a panel. So I'll get that baited up and then I'll show you what it looks like baited. And hopefully we shall pick up the first fish of the day on that. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. Okay, so that's Mr. Mackey all baited up now. Now I put my hooks on the same side. That's how I do mine. Some people put the hooks opposite sides. But my theory is, if you're coming up over a rock and you get one snagged, the other one, you've got double the chance of getting a snag. At least this way, when I pull it in, it's only gonna get snagged one way, if that makes sense. So I have mine like that. So there he is. Go catch me a big soap, Mr. Mackey. And yeah, so that's just a pulley panel. Straightforward panel. And then I think, what's the um, the snood line on there? Uh, 100 pound snood, 100 pound rig body. So 100 pound snood, 100 pound rig body. Let's see how we get on. Beautiful here. Absolutely beautiful. I'll try and get some Mackies in a minute as well. Get, get the old feathers going, see if we can get some fresh bait. But I want this one in the water. Right, speak to you in a bit. Just thought I'd bring you back again before I do cast this out because we're using a Trident uh, kicker. So, and that actually, the kickers take a nice big hook. It's always difficult trying to do this with one hand. Ugh. One handed. Here we go. No, it didn't work. But yeah, hold on, I'm going to put you down quickly and then bring you back when I'm hooked in. That took forever. Right, so there we are. Trident kicker. Let's get it going. Right, bringing you back. The sun is out. The sea is beautiful. I've just had a little bully us, but it was too small to put on camera. I was embarrassed of it. But Gavin has just had a lovely rass. Ballon rass. A ballon rass. Beautiful. What, what are you covering him up for, Gav? <laughs> Right, here we go. So, sun's out, sea is beautiful, and Gavin has had a bull and rass. Well done, Gavin, happy days. Right, let's get him back. Beautiful. I'll tell you what, when the sun comes out, the sea is so clear. Absolutely fantastic. So, I've just had a little, uh, Ball hus, but it was quite small. Um, in fact, it was too small for the camera. So, uh, 
yeah, I feel like we're gonna have a good day. We're gonna have a good day. Now I'm gonna take you up here and just show you what's up around this corner. Yes, and we climbed down this. Nutters. But there you go, gotta put the effort in. Right, we're getting to low tide now and uh, starting to get a little bit choppy out there but the fish are still coming out, we've had plenty of wrasse. We've got Gavin with a baby wrasse. Wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. And a slightly bigger one. See if we can get that one without. Do have some uh, some little spot thorns on them. Get a good hold of him. Don't drop him this time. Got a big old lips from there. Got pretty big eyes. Good looking fish. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, he's having a poo for you. Nice. Yeah. Hold him up, like. Let him poo. Ah! <laughs> oh, dear. Well done, Gav. Number three. Right guys, welcome back. Uh, me and Gavin have left Porth Gain now. Um, <clears throat> swell was starting to pick up a little bit. We'd spent most of the day there. We'd had a couple of uh, bull husks. We had three ballon rats and decided it was time to go and give um, another mark a go. So we're now on a mark <clears throat> where we've got some ledges in front of us. We're actually at the moment just doing some feathers. Um, as you can see here, Gavin's just bringing up his feathers. We've got um, Pollock coming out on the feathers. So we shall use these guys as tope bait. Uh, no harm in just trying to get yourself fresh bait. Um, so yep, yeah, we will keep you updated. We're gonna run you through um, Gavin's tope rig because it is a little bit different what we've done now is we're using some foam to get it floating a little bit we're going to keep the bait up off of the deck a little bit away from any spider crabs and just to try and imitate a little bit of life within the fish moving around in the current hopefully to attract that um taupe into us as such um yeah no drone footage today guys um concentrating on the fishing a little bit more um hopefully you'll be able to make a video out of the footage that I've already got put together and um, <clears throat> we'll see what happens all right we'll bring you back in a bit all right part four million five hundred and sixty four stardate stardate <laughs> yeah captain's log um, as I mentioned to you guys earlier we are on ledges ledge ledge water water is still What's that, 10 metres below us? Yeah, probably. Probably about 10 metres below us. So if we do hook into a sizeable tope or a bull hus, how are we going to get it up? Well, that little net over there ain't going to cop it. So what you use is what's called a drop net. Now, most drop nets that you can buy from your tackle shops are designed to be used on a pier for cod and spass you know smaller sort of species i don't think you could go and buy a drop net that's actually purposely built for a tope so my cunning plan is to use a selection of components and we brought it down here to build it on the beach well on the rocks hopefully one of them that's favorite saying of ours again hopefully <laughs> when i 
bring you back to the next part of the video, it will actually, um, it will look resemble. some, it will resemble, that's the word I was looking for, resemble, resemble a, 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 um, a large drop net. So basically what I've used here is some cargo netting that's actually designed to go on the back of a pickup truck. That was from Amazon. And this is a children's nest swing. 100 centimetres round and I've removed all the foam and obviously we're not going to use the nest part in the middle. We're going to use that and that and that. And you'll see it. Boom. And there we have. Hasn't worked out too bad actually. Go on then Gavin, give us a little demo of our children's net swing. That's it mate, look. Yeah boy, chuck it over. Let's have a look, let's have a... Let's lose it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did we do the bolts up? Yeah, they're up tight as they're going to go, mate. All right, so we'll just demo. I know you guys are not stupid and you know how it's going to work, but I want to just do my own demo. So, yeah. So, Mr. Tope comes along here. Gavin comes along with his giant contraption. Side. Just launch it. Drop it down. I like the pigs here at this gap. Give it here. Got it? This is a black bit's too long. Yes, these black bits are too long. Make the black bit smaller. Right, actually, no, I'll just hold that bit back there, look. And then just launch the whole thing in. Yeah, well, you better hold that bit then. I'll hold that bit then. Let me get out of the way. I'll hold this bit. Go on. Right, demo false 46 million 29. Go. <laughs> yes! Perfect. Right, you can pull it up now, Gav. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's going to get stuck on a rock. No, that's perfect. Absolutely. Yep. Kind of perfect. There you go. So there we are, one drop net. It's a lot darker than the camera is actually picking up, but I now actually have a taupe bait in the water. We've finished all buggering around. We had a little bit of downtime, a bit of relax. So I've got a taupe bait out at a good distance, and Gavin is just trying some little squid slivers with some uh, sea glow bead illuminants just over there side there see if he can pick up any little bits and pieces Gavin likes small fish he's strange but there we go um, so yeah nice and chilled for the evening we've actually got the whole mark to ourselves nobody else is here fantastic all we need now is some oh look they are live bite Although I probably won't show you what it is because it looks just like a dogfish bite. Gotta go. Oh no, we've got a dogfish on camera. Doggy, doggy, doggy. Doggy king. So that's it. Our journey into Wales has ended. We're now crossing the Severn Bridge back into home territory. Uh, Wales has broken us once again. Wales is tough. 
lots of snags, lots of crack offs, lots of lost gear. Uh, but we've had a few pus, we've had some brass, we've had some pollock. And uh, well, that's it, guys. Basically, we didn't get what we wanted to get. But once again, that's why it's called fishing and not catching. And it keeps us intrigued and it keeps us going to go back and have another go. Because despite what all these YouTube pages show you, it never really is as easy as it looks. So, until next time guys, tight lines and all the best from me and Gavin. Guys, also don't forget Gavin's rigs start from just two pounds each. He also makes custom rigs with premium components. Don't delay, get in touch with him, get your rig sorted, hit the beaches, hit the rocks, keep them lines tight.